How to ripple delete in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018. Sometimes you just want to delete a segment of, of a sequence. Let's say this one here. Um, you might hit the delete key and then go into the gap and right click and say ripple delete. That's pretty simple. There's actually a quicker way to do this. And that's with the selected segment, hit shift and delete. That will delete that segment and close that gap, ripple delete at the same time. But sometimes other assets on other tracks uh, prevent everything from moving up when you ripple delete something. Let's say we've got this situation here. So um, when we when we now hit shift delete, nothing happens. And that's because these assets here, the audio track uh, prevents this track um, to move up and close the gap. You could go in and lock this track. And now when you shift delete, it works. But then this track will not be editable anymore. And that's where the sync lock comes in. The sync lock, it's this symbol right here. It's, it's on per default and that will sync or try to sync everything in the, in the editing process. When you toggle that off, this track here will not move along anymore or try to move along anymore and thus not prevent this track to ripple delete. Now, when you hit shift delete, it works again as if the track was locked, but the good thing is it's still editable. Okay. So to show you, to demonstrate that one more time, here's a color mat and the sync lock is turned on. When we shift delete, it's moving along as you can see, but when we now toggle sync lock off and shift delete, as you can see, this color mat is not moving along anymore. And that's basically a way to lock the tracks in the editing process. And that's uh, a question I'm getting a lot, or uh, many people are asking, how do I prevent my audio track from being affected while editing? And that's uh, how you can do that by hitting, by toggling the sync lock on and off. Okay. And that's how to ripple delete in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018.